What's up guys, it's Paulo from The Loose Joints. Today's review is going to be on my Action Portable Tomorrow King Slicers by 3A. Uh, these three figures, um, I just got them, so, so far they are really awesome. Um, before I get into the actual figure review, let me just show you the boxes that came in. So, um, if you bought the three pack, they come in the sleeve here, which is pretty nice. Um, here's the three figures. Just a picture of them. On the side, you hear, you see here it comes in, um, they all come in single boxes, but the sleeve holds them together. Here's another picture of them. And the top of the box shows the figures again. And the bottom of the box, nothing really much there. But yeah, they all come in all single cases here, which is pretty cool. I'm going to take out Kiyu here, just to show you what they look like inside of the package move this out of the way and here's their single box which is pretty nice I really like it this is the first time I got a package or um, a box kind of like this um, awesome there good big picture and the back here just shows you some of the other action portable figures in the line um, Maro fighting JC shadow Tommy mission and then inner Baka uh, when you open up the box here it'll the figure is displayed nicely, kind of like that. And um, the the grenades that they come in uh, is in the back of the box there. But um, yeah, pretty nice design. I like it. I really like what what they're doing with this. But I get this out of the way. And then they also came out with another Q that came with a bot head, and this is the package with that. A lot bigger box, um, really nice box there. And then this one, if you see here, it has some points there. We don't know what the points are for yet, but um, hopefully we'll get more notice about what it is later on. But nice box. All right, so let's get that out of the way. And I'll show you Baka here, which is a really nice figure, definitely Really cool, uh, a lot of detail and looks exactly like um, the 1 6th version. This one's actually a 1 12th version. Um, good amount of detail, the shirt exactly the same. Same thing with the little um, electric canister battery thing here. And same symbols. So I'm going to bring in Baka here, which is the 1 6th version I have. I can show you here the, <laughs> the difference in size. So this is the 112th, the 16th, a lot bigger here. But really cool detail. You see the pants are, are pretty identical. Same, same thing with the grenades here. I'll take a grenade to show you later on, but great detail. Sword's almost the same. Uh, the, the, the mask is a little bit lighter on the, the 112th version, but I mean, still pretty spot on in terms of detail. Um, so let me show you the grenades here. I'm going to take one grenade off of Baka here. And <clears throat> the detail, again, pretty identical. It's kind of hard to see there, but yeah, a good amount of detail. The only thing that's missing, or it's, it's even still here, I didn't see that, but the pins are almost the same here. Uh, this one's not, not movable. But still, the fact that they got the little pin detail on there is pretty remarkable. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it. There's a little sun there, but there's a pin there still, which is really nice. I like that. <clears throat> I'm going to move the 1 6th version out of the way. But definitely, great figure. Um, definitely looks almost exactly like the 1 12th or the 1 6th version here. The sword definitely has a good amount of detail too, if you can see that. Articulation, pretty much the same as the 112th version, or actually exactly the same. So, a good amount of leg articulation, ball joints on the feet here. The, um, the hands are kind of on a, like a ball joint, but they also swivel. And then same amount of articulation on the arm. So basically if you have a 1 6th figure, 
or 1 6 scale 3A figure, it's almost the same. So it has a double, double jointed elbow. The head is also on a ball joint. So you can still get a great amount of poses on this thing. I really like that here. And um, Q almost or exactly the same as well. I don't have a 1 6 Q, but I'm 100% I'm sure it's identical. Um, the grenades are going to be a little different colored. Um, they're going to be in that black color here. And um, 22 grenades it comes with. So, um, yeah, 22 grenades to put all over the figure. So you can put them in these little, um, like, uh, holders here. You can put them on his legs or on his uh, backpack here. But great detail on these figures. And you can move, remove the mask too. Uh, they all pretty much have the same face. Let me see if I can move that. Er. It's kind of hard to do it, but here's his face. Really good detail. And I can't believe how how accurate the shirts are from the 1 6th version. And then Interbaka here, which is really nice. And then again, you can see that face detail here if I move his scarf down and then his comes with more of a white one or white grenades really awesome here and they all again have the same articulation so all three of them together look really nice and um, the thing that really brings them all together is the bot head here and that bot head is freaking sweet. I, th I believe this is um, the second one twelfth version of this bot uh, of a bot head that they came out with. You see, it still has um, all this, the little scarring there, or like dents and stuff. It says flesh is fucked. Here's the bottom of it. Really good amount of detail. So this one only came with uh, with a separate queue. So you have to buy one extra key in order to get the bot head, which definitely worth it. And if you want to see a size comparison between that bot head and a regular bot head, it's right here. Let me move this back here. So almost the same size. I know the one sixth version of this bot head is actually um, a little bit bigger than than this one sixth bot head, but still good. Good amount of detail there, and size. And yeah, definitely worth the price, I believe. Um, separately, there are like about $45 each or something. Um, if you can find them on eBay or like a trading site, I definitely would recommend it. Um, these things are packed full of detail and articulation. This is my first 112 Tomorrow King, but I'm definitely not disappointed at all. I really like these. Um, so yeah, if you can pick them up, go ahead. Anyway, that's my review. Um, hope you guys liked it. Uh, rate, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys with my next review. Later.